Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing the throwback tag. It was tagged by Marta Laura uh, Zayas. I think that's how you say her name. So if you guys want to stick around and hear my answers, keep on watching. First of all, I want to tell you about Marta. She has so much energy. She's always very happy, very bubbly, very inspirational. She has like a very inspirational videos. She shares everything. She shares from gadgets to makeup and she just gets right down to the point. She's not as gabby as me. Sometimes my videos can get too gabby, I feel anyway, but she has this beautiful, wonderful energy and I've known her for a good while now, probably well close to a year, I bet you. And I have really gotten to enjoy her as a person, as a friend and all that. You know, she's just a wonderful person. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out, show her some love and subscribe if you like. I know you won't be disappointed. And like I said, she has a little bit of everything for everybody on there. But anyway, let's get into the tag. It probably looks brighter now because, um, and hopefully it's not too much, but to bring up the page so I can see and read what the questions are and answer them. So, uh, what year were you born in? I was born in 67. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? If so, show them. I do, but I, I was looking for them and I can't find them, sadly. But I, if I find any and I get to get it uploaded on here somehow or get a picture to slide in here when I edit this video, I will do that. What TV shows did you grow up watching? Oh my goodness, Wonder Woman, uh, Croft Super Show, loved those kind of shows. I didn't watch too much as a teenager. I kind of went out a lot with my friends, but growing up, yeah, like um, Bionic Woman. I do remember watching with my parents certain shows like uh, The Love Boat, maybe even. Oh, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, loved that. That was another favorite show. Happy Days. Because I always say, Happy Days is another one. I always tell people because I'm not sure where my first crush kind of came in with, with those kind of shows. Because I had a crush on Henry, Henry Winkler, The Fawns. So Happy Days, Laverne Shirley. Loved those shows. What did you want to be when you grew up? And do you still want to be that? Well, what I wanted to be at first was a teacher. When I was in my room, I would actually take old school papers that I had that were graded, place them along on my bed to pretend those were my students and stand there and teach and just pretend I was teaching and everything. Um, later on, no, I didn't want to be that. I even thought I'd want to be a nurse. There was just several different phases I went through. I went through all kinds of phases of what I thought I wanted to be. In the end, it came down to, I thought, um, I like typing. I like filing and stuff. So I used to always picture myself maybe being a, a secretary, like a receptionist or work for somebody in an office. So I still would have liked to have done that. Sadly, I can't now, but uh, I went for a lot of those courses in school and everything. Show a video of yourself when you were younger. Don't have any videos to show when I'm when I was younger. If there's anybody in my family, the only person I can think of would be my uncle Dan. Uh, who might have any videos. We, My parents didn't have any um, camera video, things like that. What were your favorite toys to play with? Barbie. Hands down Barbie. Barbie was my favorite toy to play with. I had every Barbie. I had um, her sisters or friends and everything. Like I had Francis, PJ, Skipper, um, Barbie, Ken, of course. I had the camper. I had the, um, the penthouse. Uh, I had both campers or some kind of things. I I had all kinds of stuff of Barbie. I mean, definitely I was a Barbie fanatic. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember doing? Okay, I guess I can say this one. Here's something. I have quite a few embarrassing moments that I can remember. <laughs> but this one's pretty funny. I can remember when I first had my, like, first high-heeled shoes. You know, my high-heeled shoes. 
more than pumps or whatever. And there was some good looking guys out. And I thought, you know, okay, I'm going to just go with the flow and walk my stuff and start my stuff or whatever. And, uh, you know, I felt all kind of sexy or whatever that day, you know, I was just, I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling it. And <clears throat> in the process, there was like a beer distributor that was nearby my area. So there was some pretty good looking guys there that worked there. And as I was <laughs> walking by, you know, just walking casually, just, you know, strut my stuff, feel all good. And the heel spike got stuck in one of the cracks in the sidewalk. <laughs> and I remember <clears throat> I've walked right on my shoe and on top of it all, it broke, you know, the heel. Oh my God. And they're all standing out there. I could hear them giggling. <sighs> you know, there went that shining moment. Like I would have to say that's one of, I, I've, I, like I said, I've had several, I've told you guys, but that one, that one sticks out to me. It just popped in my head and I was probably close to being a senior at that point in high school. So yeah, I was, I was pretty much almost a senior. It's something you wrote when you were in kindergarten. Oh gosh, I don't even have anything that I wrote sadly from when I was in kindergarten. So I don't have that. Three songs you love to listen to as a child. Three songs that I, oh gosh. One that sticks in my head is um, Twist and Shout from the Beatles. I used to listen to that a good bit. I remember Archie's Sugar Sugar. I loved that song, played that a lot. I actually loved the Archie's when I was little. Uh, probably the other one would be, and I did share it, that I can think of actually would be the Partridge family. And it was the song, Can You Hear, Hear My Heart Beat? If you guys, I remember that. I drove my family crazy. I played that so much. What was one funny thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? I don't think there's really anything funny that I can think of. I mean, I, I know Casper the Ghost was one I dressed up as. I dressed up as a witch before. A cat, I was a black cat. I don't think there's anything funny, to be honest, that I dress up as. But tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. Okay, so, funny moment. It was Christmas time, actually. And at the point when my brother and I knew there was no Santa Claus and all that kind of stuff, especially me, because I was the youngest, um, we would wrap each other's gifts. He would wrap some of mine, he would wrap mine, I would wrap his. And, you know, that's how we kind of did it and everything. And I can remember the one year I was all excited because there was like a spe spe specific box that, you know, it was unique look shape. And I, I kept trying to figure out what it was. It was really big. So I couldn't wait to get to that. When the process before I got to that box, you know, I'm opening up my other gifts. And in the process of me opening up other gifts, I open everything up and rip it up. It was a clothing box that, you know, you know, there's clothes in it. So that's why I figured, you know, oh, there's clothes in there. So I open up the box, the lid, and I look in and I'm like, there's boxes in here. There's other clothing boxes in this box. I'm like, okay. And I'm like looking to see, is there something hidden? Am I missing something? Is there a note? Something. And I'm like, okay, who's the prankster here? Like, really, who is the prankster? That, you know, I was like, what the heck? So <laughs> here... My mom, prior before that, my brother couldn't find the box that had like like all the boxes and stuff. He couldn't figure out where that was at. By accident, he wrapped it up and that ended up being one of my gifts. I had a box full of boxes. So I we laughed about that afterwards and we still tell it to this day. It's like one of the top stories, I swear. I think we shared with so many different people. I, but the box that I was telling you guys about that I was so curious, I might as well share because what was actually in it because this part was funny in with the whole thing because after that experience, I was just like, you know, like, okay, so I'm opening up all my other gifts and getting into it. So when it came to that big box, it was like real big, real huge, big square box. I rip it open and I open it up and there's another box in there, but it's wrapped up, but there's another box. And I'm thinking, okay, somebody playing, really playing a prank on me here because, you know, that's why I kept thinking, I remember I kept thinking, somebody's playing pranks on me. 
So open that up, another box wrapped up. I kept going, 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 continue on. Probably through about five or something like that to where I get to this real small little box. And it was a ring box and it was my grandma's engagement ring that I always used to say, and I was about 16 at this time too. I used to always say I, I would love to have it. It was a gorgeous, beautiful ring or something. And my mom felt that I was old enough because my grandma passed away when I was like eight. She felt I was old enough to go ahead and have the ring. So that's what was in that big box was that little ring. But that experience that my brother did, I thought somebody was still playing prank on me or something, you know, but it was funny. Are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? Oh, I should have brought it down here, but I'd have to see. It's another thing I'd probably have to look for because when we moved here, some stuff still stored away. But actually, yes, I do. When I was eight years old, um, I I love Snoopy. Love Charlie Brown. Love Snoopy. Collect Snoopy stuff a lot, a lot. And it's the Charlie Brown dictionary. Kept it from when I was eight years old. I still have that dictionary, and it was when you could order books when you're. Um, in Catholic school, they did that. I don't know if they did that in a lot of other schools, which lights are blinking. It's getting really windy out there. I can hear it very windy. In Catholic school, yeah, they had um, where you could order books. I'm not sure if everybody had the books that you could order, but uh, that's one thing that I really wanted so bad I remember was the Charlie Brown Dictionary. So I kept that all this time. I still have it. Maybe one day I'll share it in a video and say, do you remember me telling about this? I'll see if I can find it one time here. What was something weird you used to do as a child? Oh, something weird. Oh gosh, I can tell you this one for sure. This one comes to the very top of my head. I actually loved ketchup sandwiches. <laughs> when I would go to bed at night, at night, and get all kind of almost snug in bed, I would have my sister or my dad or my mom or somebody make me just take two slices of bread, put ketchup on it, and that's it. Ketchup sandwiches. Don't know why. I mean, to this day, no, I would not do that now. But as a kid, I loved it. I I loved it. It was like almost almost every night. Not every night, but almost. What's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? I know I shared this with you guys. It would be I almost drowned, and I was four. I know I shared this with you guys before, but I'll, you know, I do have some new people here and everything, but I'm positive I did share this before. Um, me and my cousin, it was my uh, grandma and grandpa's uh, wedding anniversary, and uh, we were at my aunt's house, and they had a swimming pool. They were supposed to have a certain gate closed off, but somebody forgot or it was open. My other cousin and I went out and strolled out, sat at the edge of the pool, um, and we were on the shallow side, kicking our feet, went on the deep side, kicking our feet, like sat, you know, and I slid in. I didn't know how to swim. And if it was not for their, the dog, Heidi, who was a German shepherd, barking profusively and, you know, kind of getting my cousin, my other cousin's attention, I don't know if I'd be here to this day telling you this story. Because when I fell in, I can remember looking up, seeing my little cousin, and then next before I know it, um... My one cousin, I, I, it's like, I kind of remember this, like he dove in and then the other one pulled me out. So one dove in and got me whatever nail and pulled me out. And I remember feeling that burning in my nose and I was just hysterical crying and I was in my mom's arms, the towel wrapped around and I don't know what all happened from there if they gave people heck. I do remember my dad later taking me on the shallow side of the pool and carrying me around because I think they didn't want me to be afraid of water. And how is the world now different from how it was when you were a child? Oh my. Sadly, it's completely different. I have seen so much, so much, so much sadness. Um, I mean, in the process, I do see good and there's good and there's bad, obviously. I just feel like right now I'm seeing so much bad than good. And I don't know, just things just seem more simple than things just seemed so much more simple. I think, I mean, I hate to say it. I think some of the youth of today, I don't see the respect. I don't see the respect as I did when I was growing up. A lot of them aren't very respectful. There's, there's even grown-ups that aren't very respectful. I don't hear people saying, 
um, excuse me too much. I'll be in Walmart. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves is people will act like you're in their way and they'll push you almost out of the way or they don't say, excuse me, please. I mean, when I'm walking past somebody and they're standing and they're looking at items and I have to go up through the aisle, I'll, I'll be like, I'm sorry, excuse me. Like, I'll actually be like, you know, because I, I know I'm passing through and they're looking at stuff. I'll say, I'm sorry, excuse me. And or some, I, I mean, I don't see that. I don't see people opening up doors or holding doors too much. I have to say, my husband does that. My husband does that for like anybody a lot of times. When he sees somebody coming, man or woman, whatever, you know, man or woman, doesn't matter, he holds the door open. You know, I don't see that kind of stuff too much. I don't see that respect. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. And thank you, Marta, for letting me join in with you. And I really appreciate it, Marta. I'm glad that you tagged me and I got to share with you guys some experiences as when I was a child and, and younger and everything. It's it's fun to go down memory lane and remember some of those things. If you'd like to do this tag, the throwback tag, and you never done it yet or haven't done it consider yourself tagged i'll put the questions down below if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up that helped me out so much and i'd love that also if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell when you hit the bell that will let you know when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care i will see you then i love you guys Mwah. Bye.